Well, this is what we got going on right now. Sunday, July 18th. Sun setting behind me and looks like there's a storm to our southeast all the way through our northeast. So there's the southeast. And that's looking due east. And then it extends northeast up over the house. And the rapid development, that's even overhead. So we'll have to see what happens. In Arizona, you can never guarantee it's going to rain at your place, even with a storm sitting right off your bow. But it's clear to the west so far. Sun's going to be setting soon. And here's what's happening overhead. Like one more pan. There's looking due south. And then southeast. There's my rain gauge. And that's due east. And even all the way up northeast. Looking pretty intense. Alright, it's Sunday morning, uh, July 25th, I believe. I hope I got the date right. The end of July 2021, last Sunday of the month. And here is the Pantano Wash by the DeLago Golf Course in Vail. And you could tell that it went over its banks and kind of got in that little area right there, probably. Uh, earlier in the morning and it's going on through right here so at my house I've pretty much recorded it exactly or now maybe even slightly over five inches of rain since Thursday night so five inches of rain in the last two and a half days and places to my north have probably gotten closer to um, eight inches of rain in just two and a half days this is it Okay, it's July 30th, and you know we had a lot of rain already this month. This is what it looks like the night of July 30th. That's looking to my southwest, and then we're approaching due south, and now we are approaching southeast. Now we are approaching east, and even if you go all the way there is something brewing even way up there. That is one dark cloud, and it's filling in nicely right above us, because I don't know if this thing's moving. I think it's just building straight above us right now. It is getting real dark straight above us. One more pass. Again, going to the southeast. And then due south. And then southwest. And then looking west. So, it's definitely going to get interesting here in the next little while. It's hard to say. This has been going on for well over an hour. It's just very slow. But it's looking intense. That's it for now. Alright, monsoon season 2021 just keeps impressing us. And this is uh, August 13th. And this is to my southeast. And then looking more due east. And it even extends to the northeast, but the house is blocking it. This is looking pretty intense right at sunset. Anyway, nice shot. Alright. Saturday, August 14th. This is what we're dealing with. Intensely heavy rain. Some of the heaviest rain I've ever seen. There's my yard, completely flooded. Underneath the trampoline. So now we're heading towards 16 inches of rain in the last two months. So about 16 inches of rain 
since June 15th, since the monsoon started. And it is incredibly green and incredibly wet this year. One more pan from the yard. There we go. Okay, here's a video of the playground at the bluffs and the damage that happened. There's the drainage wash, which has always been here. And then this fence gave way into the wash. I remember when they first built this, I knew this was going to happen one of these days. It took, oh, a good 13 years for it to happen, but it finally did happen. I remember bringing my kids over here for the environmental science merit badge when we had to do design flaws and stuff and I said this was a bad design and sure enough it all gave way and uh, the damage is pretty extensive. They're going to have to spend a lot of money to bank this in properly and rebuild this fence and there's a big old crack and fissure all the way over there. Okay, here's the new Richmond American development in Rancho Del Lago, just north of my house. Um, nice lots, everything's great. There's just a couple lots of concern, and I knew this was going to happen. And uh, here we go. This wash that drains through here is already eroding the backyard away. They really need to bank this in, and this is what it looks like behind their area. So if I pan back this way, this wash has always been here. It's a road for people who live even further north when they don't want to go up the hill road, but they really needed to bank this in with concrete because a good 10 feet of this backyard is about ready to slide in. And yesterday it was gently sloped. Now there's a good four foot cliff that has already eroded away. Anyway, another poor design, at least for two, maybe three lots right over here at the southeast end of this Richmond American development.